Bitcoin OS is being shilled as a $1.3 trillion opportunity. But for who? Let's take a closer look. Welcome back, everyone. We are going to talk about Bitcoin OS, right? This uh, this magical thing that is supposedly uh, going to be enabling a layer two for Bitcoin. So guys, in case you haven't understood, uh, this cycle's narrative is that every shitcoin can be a layer two for Bitcoin. Now, we can clearly see the evolution of these narratives, right? Once upon a time, they all wanted to be their own layer ones. They all wanted to compete with Bitcoin. Then all of a sudden, that clearly didn't work. So the next step was to create a whole bunch of financial activity on these blockchains to make the average person think that somehow these things are more important and better in qualities than Bitcoin. So you started to see the DeFi stuff, the NFT stuff. And, and of course, that was all just financial activity for the sake of financial activity. And none of it was organic. None of it was necessary. And as we saw from the billions of dollars in rug pulls, um, yeah, it was uh, it was a scam. So anyways, now we fast forward to the fifth epoch, the, the fifth Bitcoin epoch, which is what we are in now. And all of these previous shitcoin narratives have failed. Well, the new shitcoin narrative, which sounds a lot like the old shitcoin narrative, is this. We have a shitcoin in search of a use case. So, without further ado, we present the new and improved same old use case. Cardano is going to pretend to be a layer two for Bitcoin. Now, you need to ask yourself, why is this happening? And the truth of the matter is, is that Cardano, like all the other shitcoins, have been losing relevancy. Now, they've always been irrelevant, but the problem is, is that now it's becoming even harder just to stay afloat, right? Because essentially time is the enemy of these shitcoins, whereas with Bitcoin, Time is an ally. When it comes to the shitcoins, time is an enemy because over time, everybody sees nobody is using it, number one. Number two, all of its qualities, which are nothing like Bitcoin, become increasingly apparent. And as a result, you become more aware of the fact that this is a total grift. So back in May, there was an announcement that Charles Hoskinson was mulling over this, this idea that Cardano could merge with Bcash and create this Frankenstein proof of work algorithm, which of course, of course, would be better than Bitcoin, right? It's, it's always that, that's the other framing, right? It's always better than Bitcoin. And, and of course, right, nobody cared. Nobody cared because nobody cares about Bcash either. So Again, the markets have spoken and Bitcoin is the number one. Bitcoin is the 800 pound gorilla in the room. So clearly that whole Bcash merger thing was a giant nothing burger, which Bitcoiners told you that wouldn't help. Um, but what's more important was you need to realize what was happening, right? Charles has already seen the writing on the wall. Okay, Charles understands that this Cardano thing that he's created is just falling apart. So... What you need to do is combine forces. And I'll say this, whenever you see two shit coins that are gonna start merge mining or something along those lines, you need to understand what that means. That means that those networks are less secure, okay? In another way of saying it, it takes more confirmations on those networks per transaction in order to provide the same level of security and transaction finality as Bitcoin. So what they do is, is that they scramble in order to change the public perception. So back to the story, right? Charles Hoskinson did that, right? He tried that with Bcash. Unfortunately and unsurprisingly, it didn't work. So we fast forward to today. And now we have this thing, this Bitcoin OS thing. Essentially, to make this story short, right, there is this 
thing that's called the Grail Bridge, right? The bridge is intended to allow users to transfer assets between Bitcoin, the Bitcoin blockchain, and L and an L2 network. Okay, so to make this quite simple, right? Essentially, this is what happens: you provide your Bitcoin to this platform. Okay, once that transaction is accepted and confirmed you are then able to mint shit coins based on the this bitcoin collateral that you've provided okay you can mint shit coins you're going to mint them on the cardano network do whatever financial activity whatever it is that you're doing there usually just fleecing noobs right you're creating tokens in order for people to buy them i don't see what else they're going to do um and then once you're done with this financial activity and these shenanigans uh you can then burn those tokens and request your bitcoin back this is just again shitcoin shenanigans okay that all this is which is what i said at the beginning it's a sly roundabout way to separate you from your Bitcoin. That's all. The Bitcoin OS, um, which is based on this thing called BitSnark, which essentially claims to be a response and improvement to Bitcoin's BitVM. Okay. Um, but what is it really? Right? What is it really? Really, what it is is a way for a shitcoin like Cardano to try to stay alive and stay relevant. And this, this should be a theme that a lot of you guys uh, start to understand, right? As these shitcoins continue to fail to find a use case that fits, um, they have no choice but to increasingly actually couple themselves to Bitcoin and its functionality. And what's interesting about this is that back in the 2017 cycle, 2017, 2018 cycle, they were doing the opposite. Okay. Shitcoiners were actually, um, they were desperately trying to figure out how to decouple their altcoins from Bitcoin because they felt that it was doing them a disservice. Because of course, back then the narrative was, was that, Hey, this altcoin that I'm supporting can one day overtake Bitcoin. But of course, as I said in the beginning, time is on our side, right? Time is on the side of Bitcoin, but time is against the altcoiners. So you're seeing what's happening here. That narrative didn't work, right? Decoupling from Bitcoin didn't help. I mean, the Number one, they didn't decouple from Bitcoin. And you could see here from the you could see here from the chart, right? If you look at if you look at Cardano uh, against BTC pair, um, it's going to zero. And if you take almost any other altcoin, actually pretty much every altcoin, they are all going to zero in terms of Bitcoin in the long run. So that first narrative didn't work. So they had to pivot. And they were able to pivot with that NFT and DeFi crap for a little while until the crowd caught on again that it was nonsense. And of course, the rug was pulled and we had billions of dollars in losses in DeFi bridges last cycle. So now we fast forward to this cycle. The DeFi bridge thing didn't work. Instead, instead, the framing is this. My shitcoin is going to be an L2 for Bitcoin. And as a result, there's going to be improved security. And then we can offer the services, those, those very important, lucrative DeFi services, right? All of this extra functionality that is supposedly so important. So we, we kind of have to wonder, right? If that functionality is so important, why is it that the Bitcoin market cap is over one trillion dollars, maybe 1.3, 1.4 trillion dollars. These altcoins are the ones with all the functionality. Bitcoin is the boring old dinosaur. You, you'd think the market would reflect that, wouldn't it? But it doesn't. And the reason, well, I shouldn't say the reason why it doesn't, but this is the reason why these altcoin promoters desperately want your Bitcoin, okay? There's 1.4 trillion dollars of liquidity sitting there. They want access to it, so they need to trick you 
into separating yourself from your Bitcoin by doing these types of shenanigans, it really is that simple, okay? And it really is that sad. Anyways, don't get fooled by this crap. Uh, Bitcoin OS is a giant freaking nothing burger. It's not going to matter. It already doesn't matter. Um, anyways, guys, stay vigilant out there. Everybody is a scammer, right? Everyone's a scammer, and they all want your Bitcoin. Catch you guys next week.